So do you guys remember the one and the only Zonic? It's it's crazy to even think back to that time period purely because it was almost two years ago and I will never understand how time is allowed to go this fast. Whilst I don't necessarily remember doing so, I made a couple of videos of the situation myself. Zonic steals Roblox videos and uses his fans. Quite an interesting way to title a video. It, ki it kind of seems like I wanted to include as much information as possible without Without including anything at all, if, if that makes sense. Look guys, I barely make sense at the best of times, so just bear with me here. And of course, we cannot forget my update video shortly after the first video, Zonic got terminated. I appear to have gone from the longest title I possibly could have conjured up, to a title that consists of nothing but three words. 2018 truly was a confusing time for myself and my YouTube channel as a whole, but I think it's safe to say we have come a long way and I honestly praise the Lord for that. But before we go further into this current situation, I simply ask that you please leave a like on this video and subscribe, just so we can continue to spread around the awareness of the situation. Because even I personally know how upsetting something like this can get, and especially when it begins to happen to you, it's it's a whole ordeal that I, I would be on hit for anyone to find themselves stuck dealing with. Allow me to say that the YouTuber we're talking about this time, as far as I'm aware, hasn't made me a target, and has hopefully never stolen anything from me personally, although I will say that I was involved in a very similar situation back during March and April of the year 2018. That was a whole thing within itself, you know, this kid stole all my videos. I guess I can do a long story short thing here and say that this person back then had been downloading my entire videos and just voicing over them in his native language and then re-uploading them to his channel. I requested that person to stop, he claimed it was fine because he put a link to my channel in the description and apparently that was that. From there I attempted to strike the videos he stole which angered his fans and I got attacked like a lot. I remember it being an incredibly frustrating situation but I also remember that I was the only person it was happening to at that time so to try and deal with that alone made it slightly more difficult so I suppose I'm giving this awareness on the situation as a token of my understanding for that happening. Plus this is evidently a recurring thing that's going to continue to happen if we don't at least attempt to put an end to it. That one guy stealing my videos, Zonic stealing from Flamingo, and now this new YouTuber stealing from Kaneko Kitten, and also a few other people as well. But anyway, very short backstory, over and done with, I, I think we can finally get into what's been going down this time around. Although one final thing to be said before we do is that you absolutely should not go out of your way to witch hunt literally anyone I mention in this video. Do not send hit and and most importantly, don't add to the negativity in the world. Not only does it make you look like a big piece of poopy, but it, it also solves literally nothing. Being mean to someone isn't gonna magically unsteal all of the content that got stolen. I decided my first stop in all of this would be to pay a visit to the culprit's actual channel. There was a very, very big pointer that gave everything away the very first second I laid my eyes on these videos. Straight up, I, I think absolutely anyone in this community can tell that this is literally Kaneko Kitten's thumbnail, except this guy added some, I, I think that's Russian, over the original text. The actual video itself is just him taking a look at the hat that the stolen thumbnail contains and that's really all I got from it. Being real, I couldn't even begin to guess what he's saying in the video, but I imagine that's pretty similar to what Kaneko Kitten's video consisted of as well. Which is fine, that part is fine, creating a similar video with the same idea is not where the problem lies here. You know, I've had people People take a video idea that I've used previously as well as I've used video ideas that I've seen from other people. When you see a video from someone else and you think it's a great idea, you become very inspired and it's fun to turn that into your own little project. Literally when it happens to me, I take it as a compliment more than anything. I had one teacher a long time ago and he always said like, that person isn't copying you, they're just inspired and really like your work. But the problem begins when this person begins to steal and download entire thumbnails and any other content he could take and uses it like it's his own. That's not okay and that never will be okay. I can't think of a single YouTuber that would be completely fine with that. Even down here this thumbnail is quite obviously taken from a flamingo video. I don't even know which one but it's just such an apparent thing that he hasn't even attempted to cover up. 
One thing I noticed is every single thumbnail on this channel all seems so different to one another and there is literally no particular style that fits this YouTuber. Usually when someone is consistently making and uploading videos and producing thumbnails, they develop a style for themselves. Even take mine as an example. But because he is lacking his own unique style, it almost becomes obvious that a lot of these are ripped straight from other YouTubers. One thing I will point out here is the fact that in the video with the the Kaneko Kitten thumbnail, he pinned a comment from himself saying, I will not copyright again, sorry guys, that's my fault. And that's all fine and dandy until you realise he continues to keep all of the stolen thumbnails, even after acknowledging that what he did was very wrong. I just don't understand why you would go through all of the effort of creating your own video, editing it, all the works, to reach the final stretch of creating a thumbnail to go along with it right before you upload it, to then decide that you don't want to add that final finishing touch of hard work and just go to steal a thumbnail from another YouTuber, it just really confuses me, like well and truly baffles me. Although I sit going through the effort of creating your own video, but just allow me to show you this short video Kaneko Kitten uploaded to Twitter. Ну что, собственно, добро пожаловать в игру, дорогие друзья, которая мне действительно понравилась. Town ain't big enough for the two of us, partner. Welcome one and welcome all, ladies and gentlemen, to this one game on the front page that I actually enjoy. I can't confirm if the commentary is the same in both videos because one more time, I wouldn't know where to start with translating this language. But just the fact that he used the same little video clip that Kaneko Kitten did and even took the joke that they made, but just translated it into his own language. Take a look, I, I decided to take that Russian text and put it through an image translator, which gave me a rough translation. And wow, who would have guessed? It's pretty much exactly the same thing from the English caption. I'd like to see that the culprit in all of this has learnt his lesson from the multiple videos I've already seen made on him and especially after his little pinned comment he created stating that he will never copyright again but he didn't even bother to change the stolen thumbnail from that video let alone anything else he may have stolen from others so that within itself just screams that this is not a lesson learnt just yet. Hopefully he can eventually realise that what he's doing is wrong and that he just needs to stop doing it man. I, I don't know how else we can say that. One more time though, let me make this very clear my friends, what we are not gonna do is go and find this guy just to hit on him, don't even go find him in the first place and if you for some reason feel the need to, then just be nice and positive or something. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this Roblox YouTuber stealing content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.